falls away, takes the spam, and he leans on who other than the legend of Lance? Who other than Lilu? Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time Has Been a Window. As you guys know, the very last CSGO Major has just come to an end, leaving Vitality as the last team to win a major tournament. So because of that, I figured we'd do the CSGO Awards to celebrate the ending of CSGO and all the memories we shared together. Did you ever think that you can get skins just by playing CS? These and many other daily challenges are available at xplay.gg under challenges absolutely free. And if you do it for seven days in a row, get an extra bonus. But that's not all. Check out the Battle Pass tab, where you can complete tasks to get extra coins and skins from Valve and also make your own custom skins for xplay.gg. With the Battle Pass, you can get more coins earned quicker, exclusive skins, xplay cases, more unique challenges, extra motivation, skip challenges, and real Valve skins. Then head on down to the store to withdraw skins. You can even exchange skins for your favorite skins in the store. And if that's not enough for you and you still want to get skins faster, get premium. With premium, you can get a guaranteed drop of any kind from the store and a system of drop skins for playing on our servers. You can also get 1.5 times more coins for completing challenges. Follow the link in the description below to receive 500 free coins. To do this, simply perform any three challenges. That's xplay.gg. Throughout the history of CSGO, there has been one player that stands above all others. He is, and Molly might follow. Safe and sound electronic not looking either. The Danes have been given some real opportunities here, some sitters. On to Na'Vi. Simple rock hard place. Great shot, just Magisk on the cross. Just the tip of his head, Dupree spotted out. Simple's doing it all. Some great shots to start him off. And time to get the bomb down. Throws a smoke to guys, his cross, you peek in front of it. I like it. Oh, he's such a nerd. Simple with four, looking for an ace clutch. Spectacular to put Na'Vi back in the driving seat of Dust2 and it's just Glaive. He's got the big brain, he's also got the Yorp. Simple's in a prime position, there should be no way, no hope. Holding the line, Tunnels is a threat, it's a question of timing here. Glaive crawling in. And Simple collects magnificent play from the world's best. Or at least that used to be the case until Zaiwu came along. It's 12 and 3 right now, Spinks is going to be going down. Saibu is quick with that AWP. Three versus two as Dexter will take down Debris. And it's all on Saibu here. He's lost all the teammates, and that bomb is way out in the open. He has no smoke to cover it up, otherwise he could put some pressure on the remaining T's here. But now instead he has to tap it. Oh, what a shot! He has the quad kill. Turns around! <laughs> and while there is no question that Zaiwu has been the most dominant player in recent times, was it enough to say that he is the most dominant player in the history of CSGO? Surprisingly, the answer is no. Despite Zaiwu now having a major championship to match Simples, it's still not enough to take him off of the top spot. Which means the GOAT of CSGO is now and will forever be Simple. From the greatest player to the greatest team, who has the greatest legacy in Counter-Strike? Moki's trying to find a way to kill Simple, who simply will not fall. And I'm playing to be pushing this one, and he's got the kill! Astralis are victorious! Astralis takes the top spot with four major victories. The only one that comes close is Fnatic with three. And since there were in many roster changes, four out of five of those players were able to win all four of those championships. But one player stands alone with more major wins than anyone else. Dupree. Much support on this palace swing, but Dupree on top of the stairs finds a nice angle. Time is ticking. Vitality are running out of options. Yakinda with a dry swing, and Dupree will meet that right where he started. OC, it's up to you, kid. Yeah, it's a bit of bloodlust out of Yakinda. It's left a lot of. Apex holds as OC goes over Ooh. the top. It comes down to this 1v1. Dupree needs all five in the round. Stealing the hopes and dreams of NA has been this whole guy's story. Uh oh He's got to keep it going. OC with the pistol. Not the gun for the job. Not the weapon of choice here. Dupree. They might make it easy for him. He hears him dropping in and Dupree so calm. 
Originally winning four majors with Astralis, he's just recently won another major with Vitality, making his tally go up to five. Which brings us to my favorite category, who is the greatest sniper in the history of CSGO? And no, the answer is not me. A little bit unfortunate, otherwise maybe gonna try some prison pressure. He's still gonna go for it. He picks up that one. No, no, out of this world, game! The answer is game time, baby. Leading the way with .45 AWP kills per round and one major championship of his own. It's really hard to put anyone above him, though there are some notable names like Kenny S and Guardian not too far behind. And sticking to the subject of specialization, who is the best aimer in the history of CSGO? Oh my god, Scream! Scream! Even though Scream sadly no longer plays CSGO, he definitely left his mark, and no one has been able to top his headshot percentage or headshots per round. And even with that much raw talent, he was never able to win a major. But it's hard to consistently win rounds without any opening kills. So because of that, let's take a look at who is the greatest opener in the history of CSGO. Would you believe that it's Jaim again? And was Simple and Zaiwu not too far behind? But just playing at the pro level is a feat of its own. So who has the most kills in the history of CSGO? Times it to perfection. And Simple sitting no! no! Disaster! The shot! An absolute disaster! That was it! That, that was, was the game! It, Chad, that was it! Well, despite this unfortunate round that cost this man his chance at a major championship, it looks like this award goes to Nico. From the most kills at the pro level to the longest win streak on land, some records were never meant to be broken. Right behind the smoke and get right closes it! And it's because of that that NIP's record of going 87 and 0 will live forever in the history of CSGO. So many memories, so many epic moments that will live with us forever in our hearts. Thank you, CSGO, for the last 10 years. CS2, you have a lot to live up to. Looks like both top mid and all the way over toward Atrium. Taps and goes quick. Cold Zero is quicker. Gets a second as well as the bomb will go down and follows it up. They're all lining up. Cold Zero with an ace. Side take. B. Here it goes. One flashbang, but the double will certainly seal the deal. It has to. Navi have to get out of there, but Tarek won't allow it. Oh my god! Oh, that is insane! Tarek will take him down, and it's a 5v4. The cloud line with 40 seconds to go, and Karagun, he can't reposition. He has the frag! He has the frag, and he gets only one! And now that's Cloudline moving quickly towards B, they're still in position. They managed to get there fast enough. The ball has to be planted, and Cloudline at a disadvantage. Tarek, brave enough to just hold the bomb plant. He knows the angle once again, but let's go. Why does he go low? It is a dance, and now they can see multiple angles. Tarek going, takes all the fights to the down. Guardian on 11 HP. Brave peaks, and he gets the angle now. Superior angle is there a defuse for the CT side. The Nolan just yet, they're spamming the grenades. They're touching the bomb. And now goes Rain. And now the bomb is trying to defuse it again, but no! I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, have a great day.